Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to JD's podcast. Uh, this morning, I'm actually up a little bit early, earlier bef- um, to do this show before my day starts. Sorry, I'm drinking some water. <laughs> I just took my ginger shot and it gets my throat all tingly. <laughs> it's amazing. It's such a power shot, but we already know how I feel about those shots. <laughs> um, so today's um, episode is going to be about to protect your peace only because I had yesterday I was making just a crazy amount of appointments. I am so booked for the next like month and a half with appointments. It's crazy. But you know, that's what happens. Uh, for a quick reminder for everyone Go get your scans, go get your blood levels done, go get all your vitamins checked, just because you want to make sure you stay up on that stuff. It helps you live a, you know, your optimal health and your optimal life. And again, that's another way to protect your peace is to make sure that you're 100%, 100% sure what's going on with your health. So that's one of my first things that I like to get done to move on to the next step is, hey, I feel a little funny about some stuff. Well, let's go check it out, you know? <laughs> um, but so, yeah. And that's what ties into today's topic about protecting your peace. Um, so I used to, you know how like when you're younger, you bounce your ideas off of people and whoever grasps your um, I guess similar understanding and stuff, they have a high influence on your decision making and stuff. So, um, this person had a high influence on my decision making, but for some reason it wasn't adding up to my joy or my happiness or whatever. And yesterday when I finally was so excited about, um, making sure everything was on track and stuff. All I got was negative and worst possible outcomes of what could be. And it's like, you don't, you don't want that. Or maybe I'm just getting to the point where I don't, um, I don't need that type of energy around me because it will, it, it does affect my decision making. And I want to start making decisions without, and I mean, my husband influences me on making decisions, but you know what? They have never <laughs> steered me wrong. So I really have no, I'm safe with that. I can listen to that. And, you know, his um, advice is obviously it makes sense and it doesn't attract anything, you know, any bad feeling to it. So, but let me tell you something. I am just all about protecting, protecting my peace prospering and making sure that little boy is completely equipped for the world good and bad (laughs) and just you know being happy so yeah that was that was my example I won't go any deeper into it because I I don't think it you know I don't I don't really think it needs a whole lot of attention, but it's just an example on when you're starting to see things and you're starting to see patterns and you're like, hmm, maybe we should switch it up a little, you know? So, and I'm not afraid to call anyone out, especially, and it's not like a bad call out either. Like, I'll tell you, you're doing something and then that's it. I'll get over it. That's really how it works. Or... In my mind, that's how it works. You say it and you get over it and you move on. So I can briefly go over the creating the habits we desire, which was the last chapter that I had read. Um, And it was great, honestly. It's pretty much, again, self-awareness. In order to change a habit, good or bad, you have to be self-aware that you're doing it at first. So, and I think I discussed that. And it's, 
I actually love this book because it is definitely marking some keynotes that um, I'm on the right path of having beliefs and already having all of this that is um, about the practicing mind. Like I already know how to do a lot of this and it just ensures me that I'm on the right path because there's another person that has similar understanding of things and then breaking it down to a better, you know, breaking it down to each step, it just reveals that I'm on the right path, I guess. So, so yeah, that was a great chapter. Um, so today, oh my gosh, I made, um, uh, ramen bowls late last night. Oh, they were amazing. They were so good. We were starving, but like, I'm not sure if it's good to eat so late. It kind of feels like even if it's really healthy food, actually your body probably gets excited when it's really healthy food. Um, and it definitely works while you're sleeping because you can feel it the next morning for sure. And I already feel like my voice is just, I don't know. It's just weird this morning. Um, I did take my ginger shot, so <laughs> that makes my, uh, throat a little scratchy because it's got a lot of acid in it or like turmeric. I don't know. I'm a big baby with that, but I still, you know, I still take it anyways because it makes me feel amazing. But, um, oh my gosh. Yes. I was just talking or I was just times have changed so much and um does any i don't know if anyone around me went to like this cool place called nature's classroom and it was for like the schools they like the whole sixth grade goes and does like a week sleepover camp type of thing and it's so fun that was such a fun experience and I, to this day, I still have like good feelings from that little, you know, camp adventure. We all went on it together. You know, we go to school every single day and being able to all go on a trip and sleep over. It was just really fun. And unfortunately, because, you know, I don't really want to say those words because I guess it triggers something, but I could say vid or something. Yeah, because of the craziness that happened in 2020. Um, they pretty much shut down that, they shut down being able to sleep over for a week, for the last week of, and it's really sad because I feel like he's missing out. But I mean, he said that they visited their school and did some fun activities and stuff, which is okay, but it's just the, it's just the whole camping experience with your whole class classroom. It was really fun. I hope that eventually it comes back. Um, maybe us uh, adults should petition to bring it back. <laughs> uh, um, bring up the fact that when our parents did and uh, dealt with very fast um, catching, you know, disease, they used to, they used to uh, like mass hurt us <laughs> together. It's like chicken pox sleepovers and it's like everybody would get chicken pox. It's just herd immunity is what they used to believe in strong. And I think we should get back into that as well. Okay. Because we can all deserve to share these and be immune from it, you know, but we'll see what, how, how the times change and stuff. And I don't know. If any other parent knows about nature's classroom, we need to sign a petition to bring it back <laughs> for the kiddos at least. So, but today we, I am hanging out with my husband. His day is off. I'm actually going to come back on. I might show either a short or I really, I don't think I'll do live just because it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm good with the lives, I guess for a while. Um, yeah, I might just do video because video, you know, the it's it's better signal anyways when you do video because we don't have like a strong strong signal in our area to do live like that. 
I'm not in the city. <laughs> but yes, today I'm going for a walk. It is beautiful. If it is beautiful in your area, go outside and breathe some fresh air. And if you're in the city, come over to the country. It only takes like 30 minutes to get here. Come breathe some fresh air first. Reset. Speaking of reset, we're actually going to be doing a um, fasting for three days to, I guess, reset your cells and, um, you know, to get rid of any bad cells that you have going, lingering on in your body. But yes, so we, I hope that you understood the message about protecting your peace and making sure that the right people are influencing your decisions, especially when you want to change things in your life and you want better for the future. And if the recipe isn't working anymore, it's time to look at the recipe and to see what's holding you back because, you know, you want to just keep moving forward. So I will see you guys on Friday. I'm not sure what the topic is going to be, I guess. I don't know. I'll just keep bringing things up like this time and time. Um, the Practicing Mind is actually almost done, the book. And my next one is going to be boundaries, and hopefully it can it confirms what I have been learning thus far about it. So I hope everyone has a wonderful two days, and my boys are going to be up soon, and that's when I get my son ready and hopping for the day. So I hope I, I will see you guys in another day. Enjoy your Thursday. Make it productive. Make those phone calls. Type those emails. <laughs> we still have, we still have three or two more days left until the weekend. So let's be productive. Get up. Actually, after this, I got to do the nighttime dishes because I didn't want to do them last night after I ate. I'm telling you, don't eat late. It's so bad. It's like running a marathon while you're sleeping. Yuck, yuck. No, no. Even if it's healthy food. Actually, if it's healthy food, I feel like it works harder because it's excited that it has amazing food in its belly. But uh, no, no, no. Don't eat that late at night. But yes, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, productive day. Get up. Let's get going. Go for a walk. Drink that big glass of water. Come on. Let's go. We, we all are, we're all in this together. So. I will see you on Friday and yeah, I'll see you later.